Good day, ladies and gentlemen. And today's cigar is one that's been around for a little while, but I've never had it. Uh, it is the Drew Estates My Uzi Weighs a Ton. Heard a lot about this smoke. A lot of people say it's real good smoke. Like I said, I've never had it. Now, I'm not much for infused cigars or, you know, infused with oils or herbs or anything like that. I pretty much like my tobacco straight. But I will say this. Drew Estates puts out a good line of cigars. I do like their dirt. I do like their Cuba Cuba. Um, I am trying more of their product line as I go along here. And so far, I must say, I really haven't had a bad cigar from them. I really haven't. So, but I'm, I'm, having said that, I'm still not real big on the infused cigars, but to each their own. That is the wonderful thing about cigars. It is what you like that matters. Not what I like, what you like. I can just tell you what I think of it, and then you can kind of say, well, you know, I kind of agree with him, or, ah, he's crazy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> we'll see. It, it goes either way, however you want to do it. Anyway, this is the 7x60. That's a monster of a stick right there. You can about beat somebody with this thing. It is, uh, let's see here, let me look it up. It is a San Andreas Negro wrapper, uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut binder, and Brazilian Matafina filler. And it's touted as a medium strength. Made in Nicaragua with a medium brown uh, EMS wrapper. So, there you go. Alrighty. Matter of fact, I'll leave that on that page so it kind of lights it up a little bit so you can see a little better. Get a little better look at cigar that way. There you go. Nice wrapper on it. I do like the wrapper. It's a smooth wrapper. Got some lovely aroma coming off of it. Nice earthiness, nice, has a lovely aroma of when you walk into a well-kept humidor, that, that aroma that greets you when you walk in the door, isn't that just heaven on earth right there? I just, every once in a while, there's a couple of shops around here that have a humidor like that, and when you walk in there, the aroma that greets you, you're just like, oh, yes, this is where I belong. So, yeah, very nice. Like I said, earthiness, uh, lovely tobacco aroma, very nice. All right, let's do a cut. Oh, I've been, I got this standard little cutter I use, but anybody that's followed my series here knows I like big ring gauges. When I was at the tobacco shop the other day. I don't have it here with me. It's in my pickup. I picked up a cutter that will cut up to a 95 ring gauge, I believe it is. Or no, 85. It's an 85 ring gauge it'll cut up to. Which, being a man that likes big ring gauges, finding a cutter that will cut those is very difficult. And it was made by Zycar. So, if you are a person who's into big ring gauges like me and you're having trouble finding a cutter that will cut them for you, Zycar makes one. So, uh, ask at your local tobacconist and see uh, if they have one available. I think it was uh, like $30, if I remember right. It's all steel and everything. Very nice cutter. Uh, I think it was like $30, if I remember right. That's what I paid for it. Like I said, I don't get anything free for doing this. I pay for everything, same as you guys do. I figure that way I can give an honest opinion. Hmm. Feels a bit tight on the construction. A little bit. Has a bit of a resistance in the draw. Very nice pre-draw though. Nice, rich, chocolatey flavors coming through. Oh, yes. A lot of cocoa coming through on that one. Getting, uh, getting, uh, I don't know, kind of a tiny hint of, like, um, Heinz 57 sauce, just a 
tiny hint of it. Very nice. All right, let's put some fire to it and see what happens. I would say that it is on the fuller side of medium. It's not exactly a full, full bodied cigar, but it leans towards that way. Very smooth smoke. Wonderful aroma coming back through the nose. Really getting that chocolatey coming back through the nose. Get a lot of that chocolatey coming through on the palate. Very smooth on the palate. Yeah. Still getting just a touch of that 57 in there. Heinz 57. Or the 57 sauce, sort of. Just a touch. There's a bit of sweetness on the palate from it, just a bit. I suspect that would be the uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper there, probably a broadleaf wrapper. Oh yeah, that's very nice. First time I've had one, I, I think I'm going to enjoy it. Alrighty. All right. Well, I will give this a pause and I will uh, update you when I'm about halfway through. Good day. As you can see, we're getting about halfway down. It's been an excellent smoke so far. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, excellent construction. The it not uh, so tight in the draw anymore. It loosened up a little bit, so that's good. Still getting good smoke. Very smooth smoke. Very smooth. Not so much the chocolatey anymore. It's uh, still getting a lot of earthiness. Getting pretty peppery. A little spicy. Uh, wonderful aroma still coming back through the nose. Yeah. Yeah. Very good smoke so, th so far. I thoroughly enjoyed it. All right, well, I will give this a pause, and then uh, I'll update you uh, when we finish up. All right, as you can see, we're coming down to the end of it here. Been a real good smoke. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, held together good. Excellent construction. Still getting good smoke through it. Still very smooth on the palate. Get a lot of uh, nutmeg in there. Um, a lot of earthiness very good smoke thoroughly enjoyed it so all right if you give it a try uh let us know what you think in the comments below please like and subscribe and as always have a good day ladies and gentlemen